Hey, this is the big result show. I am so psyched up to do this video. I just posted on the forum that I've started it and here I am starting it. So I don't want to make you wait any longer. Let's get straight to the winning results. We'll see you next year. Thanks for participating. Thanks all the sponsors and uh, guys who get an email. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. All right. See you later. Nah. I'm not going to do you like that. Let's do this for real. We're going to start things off with the winners and the seconds and the thirds. Now there's a lot of things for me to keep straight. I've got, I don't know, seven or eight pages of notes. I'm going to try to not forget anything or anybody or any prize or any sponsor. I'm going to do my best. I did forget something. More on that later. There's a lot of stuff to keep straight and unfortunately I don't have an assistant. Although I do have some kind of red crazy thing happening between my eyes what can you do I almost hit puberty just now almost all right <laughs> here we go third place in the armor category and you're gonna win a Patriot airbrush from Badger and your choice of Badger paint for all third place entries third place in the armor goes to the German Alder armored car congratulations Probably edit some applause in there or something. I don't know. All right, moving right along. Number two in the armor category, and you win the Velocity airbrush and uh, choice of paint sets from Model Flex Paints. That's Badger's line of paint. All right, number two is the Flat Panzer 38T. Should I should I really say who's number one right now, or should I come back to the ones later? Ah, oh, let's just do it. Number one in the armor category is taking home a Soter airbrush from Badger, choice of paint, and a $15 gift certificate from Elm City Hobbies. Number one in the armor, ca armor category, based on member votes, is the M1A2 OIF. Cool. Congratulations. Before we go any further, I'm just going to let you know that all the winners, I'm going to be sending you an email with... Uh, Probably a congratulations blurb that I copy and paste to everybody, so don't take it personally. It'd be an awful lot of custom emails to write. And I'm going to ask you if there's any choices that you have to make, such as which paint set. We're just going to be talking over email for the next couple of days, okay? Try to get that all sorted out. Air category. Third place in the air category with the Patriot and the paint goes to the Drone MQ-1A slash B Predator. Number two, the Velocity Brush and Paint goes to the Curtis 8-16 Flying Boat. Right on. Number one in air, winning the Sotair Airbrush, Sotar, Sotair, and the paint and the 15 bucks at Elm City Hobbies goes to the AH-60 DAP Blackhawk. Blackhawk. Number one in air. Science Fiction Category. Number three in the sci-fi category, Patriot in the Paint, goes to the At At. Congratulations, you took third. Number two in sci-fi, Velocity, Airbrush, and the Paint, goes to the Tiberium Shuttle. Yes, it does. Cool. And number one in science fiction with the Soter and the Paint and the 15 bucks at Elm City Hobbies goes to Leap of Faith. Hang on. Hey, the sun's uh, coming through the clouds there. Do not look directly into the ball of fire. Auto category was tight, tight, tight. I think it was the tightest one going. And yes, we did count all these votes by hand. And I want to give a big thank you to Mr. Scale Model Madman, also known as Ken Abrams, also known as a couple of other things. Thank you, my friend. 
Thank you. I know that is a big P-I-T-A. Pita bread for everybody. All right. Out of category, number three, the Patriot and the Paint goes to the Truck Tractor. <laughs> number two, an auto with the Velocity and the Paint goes to the Old Truck. Congratulations. The soap tear and the paint and the 15 bucks in the auto category number one goes to the 89 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Super. Cool. Figure category is next. Guys, figures next. Alright, number three with the Patriot and the paint goes to Schoolgirl with Hamster Gun. Number two. Velocity and the paint. Velocity airbrush. Very nice airbrush. I got one around here somewhere. Goes to the Ithander bust. And number one in the figure category with the Sotair and the paint set goes to the Sioux Indian bust 110 scale young miniatures. <laughs> Number three in diorama is the adversary's face off. The one third All right. Number two, with the velocity and the paint set, goes to finders keepers. And number one in the diorama category, with the badger solitaire, R, and the paint set. Let me back up because you don't have to look at me that close. Goes to Gut Mile Dive or look once there. There's some really nice stuff there. Really nice stuff everywhere. I'm just kind of a sucker for a diorama, so. I'm a kind of a sucker for not finishing dioramas. But that's a whole nother topic. All open category. Now this was there was a lot of stuff in there, eh? Trying to count that was not fun because I got mixed up a couple times and had to start again because there were so many of them. Maybe we can figure out a way to make the computers count. Maybe. All right, I'll open category number three and you're gonna win a Patriot and the paint set goes to the P47D-30 Thunderbolt. The third place in the all open. Number two in the all open goes to the Millennium Falcon. Number one in the all open category goes to the Star Trek Enterprise. Alright, afterlife category. Number three is the War Buggy. Number two is the Thai Ugly. And number one in the afterlife category is the Franklin Mini. And that's not it. We've got lots more to do. A big thank you to all the contest sponsors that made this contest a success. Thank you very much. Badger Airbrush. Artograph. Elm City Hobbies. AK Interactive USA. Brookhurst Hobbies. Andy's Alps decals, model makers, Zuron tools, tabletop gaming bunker, model man Tom, inside the armor, and bad Grangles. <laughs>